This is the Scholars Forum. Welcome to our most interactive and educative platform of all time. This is where we speak with wisdom and facts and without fear or favor. You speak it as it is with your hottest host, Kinky, the informer and reformer. On today's edition, we have a very critical issue to discuss. So that is why we brought you the right guest and we'll be asking the relevant questions in order to get you well informed so that together we can make proper reformations. We'll go for a quick commercial break and when we are back, I'll introduce our special guest to you. Welcome back to our show once again. Yes, so today um, we have very, very um, um, scholarly guests. Let me, let me say it that way because these guests are really scholars. So um, we have Miss Alhassan Halema and she's ASDA President Hopeful. Miss Halima, you're welcome to our show. Thank you. Yes. And then um, we also have Mr. Achilo Abdul Baki, right? SBL level 100. Yes, he's also here with us. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Yes. And we also have um, His Excellency, Mr. Benjamin Kofi Abdul. He's also here with us. His Excellency, welcome to the program. Yes. Today, we have a very critical topic to discuss. And that is why we've brought you the relevant people. So we are going to kick start with our discussion. But the first item that constitute our discussion today is our brief understanding about the word politics. What do we understand when they say politics? So I shall like to start with you, Mr. President. What's your brief understanding about the word politics? Politics is all about activities that are associated with government and how to improve people's lives to make their lives better. Okay. So basically, that's, that's what politics is supposed to be. Briefly, yes, politics, it, it involves activities. That is what I've heard from that kind of explanation. Okay. So um, let me move to um, our pretty... In fact, very, very, very stunning. And in fact, I don't know the, the words to use. Anyway, um, Ms. Halima, so what's your brief understanding about the word politics, when we say politics? All right, thank you. I think my understanding about politics is just similar to what um, uh, Ms. Excellence has already said. Okay. said okay. It's kind of activities that okay. involve decision making. Decision making. Seeking and gaining political power. Okay. And then governance. Because wow. Once you take, you don't just go into politics haphazardly. Okay. You have to make the decision to go into it first. Okay. And once you make the decision, then you try to, you are seeking power. Okay. And once you get the power, of course, you are governing people. Wow. So politics is just about decision making. That's okay. political power and then government. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Achilo Abdul Baki, okay. tell us your brief understanding about politics. I would say politics is an act of making decisions, okay. plans, and sharing ideas. Okay. Um, and influencing people to accept okay. your ideas to give you the mandate to serve them. Wow, because that's great. These are actually brief, but very, very rich and powerful. All right, so let's, let's move to the, our next, our next um, um, item of discussion. Um, the next thing is that I want to find out, are there some misconceptions on the word politics or the activity politics? Is there any misconception? I think with this, I'll start with Miss Hyatt, is there any misconception? Yes, to me, I think there's a misconception about politics. Okay. People see politics as a way of um, getting money or getting okay. rich quickly. Okay. So when they, when they, that's the perception we have, okay. or maybe politics is for rich people. Okay. But in actual sense, it shouldn't be so. Okay. You know, in politics, we, we our uh, the main aim is to is to serve your people. Okay. And it shouldn't really uh, depend whether you have money or not. Okay. But that's the misconception people have about politics. And you won't be surprised to know that people actually go into politics to make money. Mm. But that's not what politics is. Really? Yes. Okay, so does that affect development? Yes, it affects development because, okay. you know, you see people, politicians going in for loans just to campaign. Okay. So, and when they come to power, they really want to gain back the money they have really spent. Okay. And where do you think they would get this money from? They would use monies that were meant for developmental projects. Sometimes you go to a community where they, are, they say they are going to provide a school. Okay. If you go and see that particular school they provided, where is an Henku 
or whatever. <laughs> you see, just something else. We just okay. put something there. Okay. And actually, monies that were made for these developmental projects are actually being embezzled by these politicians. Okay. So yes, the misconception about politics really yes, with development. that development. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, let me move to Mr. Baki. Mr. Baki, is there, in your point of view, is there any misconception about politics? Yeah, there are a lot of misconceptions about politics. Okay. And I would like to second what uh, Ms. Halima said okay. before I move on to my point. Okay. Talking about uh, the politicians embezzling money. Okay. For their. Talking about politicians embezzling money. Okay. For their selfish needs. Okay. Uh, that will boil down to the expectation society okay. put on them. Okay. Immediately you get yourself involved in politics. Society see you to be rich. But I think with leadership, there should be some kind of expectations from people. Yes, but sometimes people do have those qualities okay. and don't have that fund. That doesn't, okay. quali that doesn't disqualify the person from attaining that position. So we demand us. so much from politicians, yes. right? Yes, okay. that's one uh, misconception okay. about politics. And we also uh, see politics to be a dirty game. A dirty game. A dirty game. Dirty game in quotes. Yes. Okay. Instead of it being a realistic game where we serve our people, we either see or term it to be a dirty game. In most cases, some of the politicians themselves see politics as a dirty game. Okay. So, with that misconception, someone might be sitting somewhere having the qualities to what, serve their people in the right way. Okay. But. Let me give you a scenario, for instance. Okay. If today you go and tell your parents that you want to become a politician, the possibility that they will tell you no is very high because when you just tell them you want to become a politician, the first thing is you will die early. You would have to go to this uh, malams and all that. I think stuff. with this issue of the dying early, yeah. sometimes some ladies, when you even propose to them, they will ask you whether you are into politics. Yes. And if yes, they will say no because they think there is insecurity with politicians. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's how okay. they are noted. Mm. And that uh, is our dirty game. Okay. Because they think before you can achieve their power, you have to kill people, okay. sacrifice animals, and all okay. those stuff. But that's not true. Okay. And that's a, uh, one of the biggest misconceptions okay. people tag politicians to be. Okay. So if someone is sitting there wanting to go for that position, the okay. person will go again. So seeing, seeing politics as a dirty game, and um, all that. So does it really affect development? Yes, it affects development. Really? Because if I'm having the qualities to serve you, okay. and you are criticizing politics to be a dirty game, okay. I won't go again. And a wrong person will go there okay. and do the wrong thing. Okay. And it's retarding development. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go to Mr. President. Um, in your view, in your point of view, do you think there are misconceptions Yes. With regards to politics. Yes. There are okay. a lot of a whole lot of misconceptions about politics. Okay. Currently most people believe that politics is all about insults. Okay. And that the one who is able to insult a lot is the one who has a chance of entering into politics. But that okay. shouldn't be the case. Okay. And more often than not, people see the highly educated to be those who should be doing politics. And that if you are not highly educated, you should be exempted from politics. Okay. Because politics is for the elites. And that shouldn't be the case. Once you have the potential, you can lead. Okay. You have to go in. Okay. So does that conception affect development? Yes, it affects development. For instance, just as you are mentioning um, this lady's issue. Okay. Of Spoken with a whole lot of ladies, and they'll tell you that me, I don't want a politician. Exactly, because, because this issue has been happening. Why, if you be a politician, people will insult my husband and I can't it. <laughs> so, why should I allow my husband to go into politics? So, it will let people lose so, um, beautiful women that they, they <laughs> could have actually settled with. I mean, you know, I've lost an opportunity like that. That's why I'm so much oh, okay. <laughs> critical of this issue. All this work, okay. and you get back home. Okay. At least you should be able to see your beautiful wife. Yeah. Meet her, and then at least you release stress a little. Yes. But this is the case. People are targeting politics to be something that is made out of insults. And that even a child can look down on you, say anything about you, and a person goes cut free. Cut free, yes. Yeah. 
So why should I allow my child to go into politics? And just as my brother here said, most people think politicians are thieves. Okay. And that once they go into politics, they go there to amass war. So is it really a, a misconception or it is a real thing? It's a misconception, but okay. don't forget in everything there is an iota of truth in there. Okay. And I know we get to some of these things. And when we get there, we shall talk much about it. All right, all right. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So we are saying that at least let's, let's all learn from this because politics shouldn't be tagged as a dating game or any other misconception, okay? According to Aristotle, he said, we are all political animals, yes. okay? So we are all involved. So don't give it a dating name, okay? All right, so um, I think our, our next issue to discuss, I want us to delve into students' politics, okay? Once we are students, and we are, we, we are lucky to find ourselves in a, in a very, let's say, good environment, okay, where students' politics goes on, okay? So I want us to talk about students' politics. How do you think students' politics should be conducted? How do you think students, your own point of view, how do you think students' politics should be conducted? Um, with this, I think I will start with um, Mr. Baki, right? Yeah, I think students' politics okay. have to be conducted in a realistic way. Okay. It has to be transparent okay. and accountable. Okay. Because if there is no transparency and accountability, you are not going to be. Right? You won't develop. Okay. Because this is okay. pertaining the I state of as you told. Okay. I know a forum to be a place where you come and tell us what you've done for us. Yes. And if you have any question, we yes. ask you to ask them. And the forum, before you can study the forum, you shouldn't contact it with any meeting you have as a person. Okay. Because you are supposed to be there. You are supposed to be there as to account. Oh. That's where the accountability comes in. Okay. But recently, during the Tito Fertility Forum, we were there in 2007. <laughs> really? So, automatically, he hasn't account for anything. Okay. Because we have to ask him the question directly and tell us what he has done. But did they, did they go on with the program? They went on with the program without him. Okay. So, this is one major thing we have to look at. Was his advice there? His advice was there. Okay. But when you ask them questions, they work out some of their questions and... Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there myself. Okay. Because one question I wanted to ask them is that, this is a state of energy for you. Okay. And you've limited the questions to be asked. And I don't think it's a forum. They limited the, the questions, questions to be asked. Because some well, of Well, I think, I think this issue will come back more to that. Yeah. Yes, we will come back more to that. Um, let, me, let me move to Mr. President. Um, how do you think or your own point of view, how do you think students' politics should be conducted? Yes, student politics is a learning grounds for future politicians. Okay. I love for that, that reason, um, from my point of view, students should be allowed okay. to engage in their political affairs. Okay. On a raw ground, okay. the gateway should be open to everybody okay. to get a chance to enter, irrespective of who the person is, okay. uh, irrespective of the religious affiliation the person is coming from. Okay. And as things go on, you will learn and then you will put politicians out there. So that, basically that's how student politics should be. Good, thank you. Um, I think with this student's politics issue, um, let, me, let me see. I have politicians here. So <laughs> we have uh, Madam Halima as that present hopeful, right? Okay, so tell us, um, in your own view, how do you think students' politics should be? Contact. Just like senior being said, okay. student politics is a learning ground. Okay. And everybody should be allowed to at least take part in it. Whether you want to lead or you are just helping somebody you think can be better. Okay. And I think it should be done respectfully. Because if you see what is happening here, okay. the insults, the criticism, okay. the propaganda. Okay. I know they are all part of politics, but sometimes it's just way too much. Okay. It's way too much. He mentioned accountability. I think accountability is key. Because for me, I believe leadership is a selfless service, not self service. Okay. You are there to serve people. Selfless service. service. You are there to serve. You are not there to serve. So once you are called upon to account for whatever you have done, you don't have the right to get angry. Even though, you know, 
you are working with people and we have different kinds of behavior. Somebody will intentionally provoke you, but as a leader, as a leader, you have to at least know how to attend to such people. All right. All right. As a leader, criticism should come your way, but you will know how to act. Um, take them in and swallow them because it's a selfless service, not selfish service. Okay, all right. So um, now, let's. I want us to now um, delve into UBs, okay, formerly UDS campus. You guys are students here, right? And um, I'm very happy today um, we have His Excellency here who has been through the politics, has been through a lot when it comes to politics, in UBs, all right, and we have um, Miss Halima to here. So now let me let me let me ask. Um, now, how is your assessment as a student, as a leader, any any portfolio you are holding? How is your assessment of politics slash campaign in UBs? Politics or campaign in UBs? How is your assessment? Um, with this, I think. Um, let me let me let me start with Mr. President. So that he can um, tell us more. So Mr. President, what's your assessment? Um, my general assessment will be that it's getting better. Because when we came um, somewhere in 2016, okay. it wasn't easy. Okay. Because we came to meet um, politics which was in courts. Okay. In court? Yes. Court as in law court. As in law courts. Wow. Because yeah, that's that. elections that were supposed to take place, we were told okay. that on the day of elections, okay. one candidate came to put intention on the election, so they had to stop. Wow. And that time, it was fireworks. Kind. These what days, I mean. these days, I, I yeah, see. we are not seeing anything. Yes, I see what okay. we are doing here to be just a normal thing. <laughs> that they are doing. Those okay. days, it was very hot. Wow. So they had to uh, reschedule a date for the election. So even that time, the hundreds had wanted to vote, but because we were not there at the time, okay. we were prevented from voting. Okay. And that time, if I should tell you what went on, somebody will be in one team, but will join another candidate's team. Okay. And then we'll join discussions where they should go, what they should say about the opponent and all that. Yes, I think this issue I've heard something like black moon. Black moon. I think okay. it, it, it wasn't easy for us. Okay. And this is we think is it wasn't easy. Okay. And you know something? All right. The very candidates that everybody thought was going to win and the enemy they lost. Wow. He was not okay. even second, he was last. Last! Somebody and then, everyone yes. expected to win. And then we get to ask ourselves, how did it happen? Oh. That should tell you that something really went for <laughs> <in there>. Okay, <laughs> good. So, um, and then you know, it went on Jara, I remember AB, there was one candidate, AB, okay. who was also a, a potential threat to Jara. Okay. But the law at the end of it all, this guy was prevented from contesting based on academic issues. And then if I should dive into this, you realize politics is an enemy. <laughs> okay. So okay. once he was he was dismissed or they are disqualified, it gave Jara the chance to, to come in. Okay. And then after Jara, Nicholas also came. That was also another another uh, another fight. Is it the current one? No. Okay. I'm talking about one. Uh, okay. Okay. One okay. Seto. Seto. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Seto also came in after Jara, okay. and it wasn't easy. It okay. wasn't easy during the elections. That was the time as parents had to go home, bring their parents' cars to campaign on campus. Go home, bring <laughs> parents' cars to campaign. <laughs> then those days, those really what? Yes. Okay. That time, if you didn't have a car, it means that nobody was going to follow you because really? it was more or less the show of wealth. So even if you didn't have a car at the time, okay. you have to see some of the guys on campus who have cars and then bring them to your team so you can also be using their cars. Hey. It wasn't easy at the Really? Cars? There was tension. Students. Students. There was tension everywhere on campus. Wow. 
You know, very soon we have SLC elections. And yes, it's yes, like yes. most students are not even aware of it. But those days, ah, you will see me at the one and people will be knocking on your door. Just to <laughs> So these days it has gone down. I can see that. They are not doing anything. These days they are not doing Maybe most of you might have seen some of their banter on social media. Yes, yes. And you yes. think it's what? It's not hot. It's not hot. It's very cool. Yeah. Because what we have seen and witnessed on this campus, what you are seeing is just, just a tip of a knife. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Hey, I'm sure. Yes. It wasn't easy. Wow. And even after Seto, Okay. You know, uh, Nene, Nene okay. one was okay. 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 Nene one's administration, that was, what was it also an easy thing? Okay. Because don't forget the current as I was in president was in that race. And it wasn't easy. Okay, so that's the second time, right? Yeah, that's the second uh, time. Okay, okay. So he won on the second time. Okay. That time, threats upon threats, it wasn't easy. Okay. But, you know, the second one, the one which brought the current president, okay. Nicholas Tampovic, okay. because of COVID, things died down. Mm. And I think we are still enjoying that. Yes, and that COVID gave him the opportunity. Okay. So, to me, to me, those who contested with were not, um, excuse my words, but were not uh, very strong opponents. As compared to the one he lost? Yes. Okay. And even if, even if we were to conduct elections before COVID, I'm telling you, it wouldn't have been easy for you. Wow. Because a number of candidates stepped down, who, if they were there, I'm okay. telling you, we wouldn't have had a chance. Oh, okay. For insults and other things, it's normal. Really? You think it's normal? But, you know something? Okay. I will, I will justify the reason why I'm saying it's normal. Okay. You know, Every young politician has a mentor okay. yes. who is up there. And the person is watching and learning from that person. Let's ask ourselves, what is the nature of Ghana's politics as a standstill? Today, it is the one who is us most. Yes. Who is giving what? The chance to go in. I think there's another important well, issue. So if, if my grandmother insults and he is well known Wrong all over the country, people are singing praises of him, what do I do? It's simply telling me that if I also to the same day, I'll be able to get up there. I think this, this brings us down to the um, aspect of the misconceptions. Yes. Because we've misunderstood the whole gun, everyone is confused about how <laughs> politics should actually be conducted. You know, you know, I, I always say that our politicians are gradually unfolding us okay. to believe that um, politics is a game of the monster. Which shouldn't be the case. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, don't forget that the students we are having here as student uh, leaders, they are the same people who will go out there and be leaders tomorrow. Because we have a whole lot of them who are SLC executives, MOOCs executives, others in departmental positions and all that. And they are out there. And you know, all that is happening today started when they were learning. Don't forget, I said, Student politics is a learning, it's a learning process. process yes. So if I start with insult, if I start with propaganda, if I start with threats, and I believe that is the right way to go, what do you think will happen when I get out there? And most people here are those that will go out there. Exactly. This exactly. is really serious. So what is happening at the national level is what has gone uh, down to the but then, but then, let me find out something. Um, you are the ASDA president. Yes. So how was your election? How, how was your campaign? Uh, I would say I benefited from something that is currently going on, okay. which maybe most people have not seen. Students in the UBITS, and for that matter, former UBS World Campus, are losing interest in student politics. It's a fact. OK. It's a fact. Yes. Because they've seen what is going on. People come, promise you having to act, and then they come and don't see anything. And when it happens that way, the article writers will write. Definitely. Those who meet you and tell you in your face that you are very stupid, they <laughs> tell you. Come to think of it. Hmm. Currently, we are having as that big celebration. Okay. Flyers were all over social media platforms. Okay. 
reposted to the various class pages, okay. and which we presume that once it is there, every student has seen it. Yes. Last two days, one student who happens to be the 100 students went to his class page, and he saw that. Okay. He said uh, the correct word he has to use for us is incompetence. Incompetent. So if a student level 100, who I know that <laughs> for anything at all, I know a flyer was designed for each of the items on the general flyer. Yes. Yet he has not seen it. And for that matter, the leaders uh, are incompetent. incompetent. I think this problem is, 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 is coming from the politics. You know, they disturb a lot with flyers and all that. So even when you see a flyer, Sometimes you get annoyed. You don't want to watch it. You don't want to look at it. And that is why some of these things are escaping them. So that is it. This is the kind of politics we are in. Wow. I don't know who the, this person is, <laughs> but I, I, saw, I saw what the person posted. I just saw it and I was like, come on, this is pure ignorance. <laughs> so I left without even commenting on it. Oh, okay. And I know this person might also was expecting that at least I somebody comment, should say something about actually, it. Actually, I, I won't mind you. Okay. But this is how politics has been used <laughs> in Ghana here. Such okay. that somebody who is still even learning how to write his or her name has the nerves to insult a whole president and go scot free. This issue of insulting. Okay, we are still going forward. Good. We will talk about it. And the same thing as what is happening here on campus. Okay. I thought it should be there some of the aspirants will come to you and be like, uh, somebody has written this about me on, on, on social media. I'll tell them, you are, still, on. you are still a young politician. Some of us have gone past this step. If you should concentrate on that, you end up not doing anything again. Okay. So you have to just ignore. All right, all right, all right. So what is going on on campus right now where people think as far as are attacking as far as personality, we shouldn't blame them. Okay. It's what they've learned from the nation. Oh, okay. That's what right. they learned from us. Okay. Good. So it's, it's, it's an activity in the country that is affecting us, whether directly or indirectly, it is affecting us. Yes. And that has changed our own ways of doing things. Yes. And we are the future politicians, yes. right? Come, come to think of this. Okay. We were in Ghana here. When this LKOT, what, what came? Okay. The lesbians, some yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. were here when last year, if my memory serves me right, okay. the educational minister had wanted to introduce comprehensive sexuality, sexuality education. Okay. We were in Ghana here. Most Ghanaians stood up and said those things were not part of our culture <laughs> and that we shouldn't accept such things. Okay. Let's ask ourselves since when did insulting of authority become our culture? I think it is fast becoming a, a, a very you get it. a very relevant but culture. So everyone is talking about it in the yes. country. They think it's it's normal. it's normal. So if bisexual, um, how do you call it, lesbianism and other things are not allowed in the country, and that it is against our culture as people of Ghana, if teaching the child about sexuality is not allowed because it's against our culture, we all know very well that. Insulting of what our leaders or people who are older than us is equally a taboo. It's not part of our culture. But today, because of politics, we are gradually allowing it. We stop uh, comprehensive sexuality education. Okay. We stop lesbianism and okay. other things. So why can't we stop what insulting Insult. politics? So why do you think the insult is not stopping? It's because Ghanaians, excuse my words, but at times we are just hypocrites. Hypocrites. Ghanaians are hypocrites. Thank you very much, His Excellency, for that wonderful submission. Yes, let me move to Mr. Baki. Mr. Baki, what's your assessment on politics stroke campaign in UBS? Okay, with my assessment okay. about the politics in UBS, okay. is that um, it's based on popularity, popularity. and sympathy. Okay. Yes, they vote based on popularity okay. and sympathy. I think, um, who are you going to vote for? That was just a question. And he mentioned a name. Okay, I don't want to mention names here, okay? He mentioned a name. We asked why. He said he is aware that that person he's going to vote for cannot bring development to the school. Okay? But yeah. he is voting for him because the other, uh, the other person, he has never seen that person before. <laughs> but he's aware that that person cannot bring development to this. <laughs> but he is voting for that person because he has never seen the other person. I'm saying it because of the popularity the you popularity. mentioned. Popularity. Yes. So, if you study very well. And this is sheer ignorance. Yes. If you study very well. Okay. When 
an aspirant stands for position for the first time, okay. the person loses okay. and comes back again and wins. Why do they do that? Uh, I have most of my colleagues tell me that they are going to aspire in level 200 because they know automatically they will lose. Okay. So they will sell themselves out there. Okay. Level 300, they will have sympathy on them and vote for them. With this, with this issue, um, if we check, some of the people, sometimes when you go for veterans and other things, you just like, it's a shock. Because yeah. someone will be there, he doesn't have any policy. He's going for it. I think it's because they want because to get Because of the popularity and the okay. sympathy, we don't check their policies. Okay. That's how come they come. Mm. They don't do anything for us. And they are not able to account anything for us. Okay. Because you end up being in the uh, state of SRC forum and they will tell you you are going for a meeting. What can you do? We can't do anything about that. <laughs> He's having a meeting and he has to go. You have a meeting, you've organized a forum. A state okay. of SRC forum. Right. So it's a whole lot. Okay. And talking about the policies, okay. I think it should be based on the resources of our institution. Okay. Looking at some of the policies of uh, the aspirant, okay. it's full of promises. Full of promises? Yes. Okay. And if you are promising us something... Sweet promises. Sweet Let's promises. Okay. okay. But we are talking about policies, too. Okay. Imagine you are promising me, maybe you want to buy me a car on my birthday. Okay. The day reach and you have an emergency. Okay. You're not able to buy the car again. Okay. Have you accomplished your tax? No. Can I do something to you? No. No. And policies should be accomplished. And promises are made to be broken. <laughs> That's one thing you have to know. You promise so, to get low, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you are making promises, okay. then this is what we, what? Based on some of the students, oh, he said this, he said that. He promised, he said this person promised us this. He promised us that. But there is someone who is looking at our resources and deriving some policies from it. Okay. We are not looking at that one. Okay. One of the aspirants uh, brought a policy about two-third payment of the school fees. Two-third? Payment of payment the school fees. Payment of school fees. Of, of who? Yeah? Of who? All the students. Listen. All the students. Listen, listen, listen okay. to how it is. <laughs> the two-third payment of the school fees, and it's a very good uh, 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 policy because okay. when you are beginning a new academic year, okay. You have to pay your school fees in full before you can register your portal okay. or you can get access to your portal. Okay. But with this policy, you can pay half. Okay. Without a guarantee. Okay. You can pay half okay. the second trimester. Okay. Then you. Uh, 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 really? Yeah. Pay all your school fees. So this is a policy that this, you should look at. This is a questionable policy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because you are not the administration of the school. Yeah, you are part of the administration. Uh, let me let me come in. Here. Okay. Recently, the current administration, okay. we've discussed that we are going to set our, our aside an amount of money, okay. which it will be under the control of the welfare. Okay. And that welfare will be in charge of that. So we are putting not less than uh, 20,000 Ghana cities okay. to that account. Good. And that will take care of these people, people who will not be able to pay their school fees in full. Okay. So and I'm the coming SRC, with this? Okay. The SRC will pay the remaining amount okay. to the person. Okay. And then the following time, the person will pay the money into that account. Okay. And it's part Without of somebody's, somebody's policies. <laughs> Maybe the person has said it and the person is putting it there. Yes. <laughs> Why? Wow. this? He is saying they've uh, kept some money in a different yes. office yes. to solve that problem. Yes. But with this person's policy, he, uh, the person is negotiating with the administration so that they will allow you to pay. <laughs> so that's someone's policy. Yes. You don't that know how policy. far the person can go uh, uh, with that. Uh, no, but some, some policies uh, are questionable. Yes. We and know that who's, they are working, so why can't it work here? Yeah. 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 Like, like, you see, here, you see here, one fact is that, you see, with regards to this policy, mm, now, the school is being managed by an administration. Yeah. Administration power is even strong. Come on, bro. Look at this policy. So you talking about the money as has kept down for to solve that problem? Is there any interest on that? No, no interest. But no are you interest. sure these things are not contradict? Like, are you sure that person hasn't had something like this and decided to design it into your policy? We have been here for a couple of years. Okay. What you are talking about will never work. Okay. There have been instances where you have to get a guarantee, some a guarantor, okay, to wear a guarantee for you to okay. register. Before maybe second trimester, you come to pay. Okay. And most students do not even get guarantees to guarantee for them. Before you go to a lecture, the lecturer will tell you, go to this person. <laughs> and before you realize, okay. they are closing what uh, registration. Yes. So, in order to solve this problem, 
That's why SRC is thinking of doing that. I think that's good. That's, yeah, if you are doing that, it's very good. Because let's, let's, let's continue. It's like we are getting off track. Let's, let's continue with, with what we're discussing. <laughs> okay, and um, okay. I also talk about the insults. Okay. In the definition of uh, politics, we okay. did mention of sharing of ideas. Yes. We didn't say what? Insults. Insults, okay. But looking at the state of politics in UBIS, okay. uh, it's mainly on insults and attacking personalities of their aspirants. Insults and attacking of personalities? Yes, because okay. they have a general group, that's the UBIS campaign group. Okay. And you can choose to join. Okay. They don't add people. Okay. So I joined that group and I realized one person hasn't even posted his or her policies there. All they do is, if I post a picture, oh, this person can't do it. Forget this person. Forget this person. This person, if she's a female, she's a hookup, she's a slave queen, she's that. If it's a male, too, he's that. That is, that is bad. When it comes to, you know, I think we are voting because we want to develop UBIS. But right? I don't understand. I don't understand why it should be that way because the main agenda of the group is for campaign. campaign. So are you campaigning insult or we are campaigning policies? policies? That's one question. Uh, uh, uh. And I think as students, that would have even served as a learning ground for us because when you join, um, these are this person's policies and these are this person's policies. So we'll now, you know, um, um, debate on the policies, get the right policies and vote. Sometimes, let me tell you something. When I say something bad about you, okay, and my team is able to support that thing, okay, and we trend it, okay, you will lose your vote. It's very unpopular. So really? automatically, people won't like you again. Yes. Because if I say something and it's not true, and uh, people support it and we share, that's why you said rumors spread, uh, spread very fast. So that, that we can we can consider that as a propaganda, a right? Propaganda, but, but it's a very bad propaganda. Bad propaganda. Okay. Because what I think is that we uh, they created that group for us to advertise ourselves okay. and our policies, okay, and not insult. If. Uh, 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 young politicians like us today have started with this then in the future you can imagine what will happen and even on I, this platform you are talking about i equally yeah. had the opportunity to be part of it and you know what happened um you see sometimes when somebody um posts something another person will go under it and just insult meanwhile you don't know the person who even posted that in there and we, let's, let's remember this is students politics okay there's life after school right and the same person you are insulting, you might not be aware. Like, if you do something bad to me, I'll, I'll do well to know you, right? So that I can pay you back one day. But you would think that it's just politics, so let me do it and go. But the one thing, effects. too, is that... Um, <laughs> Even a lady in our culture, a yes. lady is not supposed to insult a guy or okay. a man. With that group, there's oh. a lady who joined. Okay. And immediately she joined that group. Okay. What she wrote first was that... <laughs> uh, no one should what 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 if you try i'll fire you i'll fire you that's the first statement so made. that is the perception she has come into the platform to with. come and fire people and did she fire people and she's firing people <laughs> people are ah, you know they <laughs> removed her from the group okay. if you're part of the group you see they yeah, yeah them. i saw them removing and that. now I don't really, okay. it seems she's in one team okay and the team are pleading for them to bring her back to bring it because she so is having the mouth to insult people, insult people for them bad. so they are now what pleading for the administration to bring her back okay and if the religion do that, meaning uh, automatically we are promoting insult. Yes. Because you have to deal with those people. You are there to talk about policies. Police. You share your ideas. Elaborate on them. Talk about them. What you can do about your opponents is that you find holes in their policies. Okay. That's the Not person, their personality. Not their personality. Okay. You talk about their policies that you think is not strong. It's not going to favor us. Okay. Because if you come attacking me, <laughs> that's no politics. Okay. That's not politics. I think this, 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 then this is a very big problem in UBIS. Yes. It's because a very big politics, problem. as um, they rightly said, is a learning process. And if this is how we are learning, then there is no hope for the future. And leaving the insult, my brother made mention of, uh, wait, apart, uh, apart from the, the one and two and all okay. those stuff, okay. Okay. the administration, okay. our mm -hmm. current administration, it wasn't that competitive. Okay. I will agree with him because the students are fed up with student politics. That's one thing I'm supposed to know. They are fed up? Yes. With because, lies and promises. Yes. <laughs> I've been involved in one or two campaign groups okay. where you go knock at someone's door, the person will come out, oh, we are here to campaign. Then the person will be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Automatically, what they say is that okay. you are coming to squander their money. Okay. That's the perception they've made about SRC. 
and student politics. So it simply means that spend their SRC money. squanders money. There's yes. some truth about it. If not, people wouldn't be reacting that way. And um, I must be honest. Okay. That is very true. Because just this last time, Mr. Campaign, I saw some of the aspirants coming around during the campaign. Okay. And how they were behaving. Okay. And after they won. Okay. <laughs> It's very, very surprising because I never thought <laughs> the person could behave that way. So I think um, this comes down to what His Excellency said earlier on, that we are learning from the national. You get it? So because um, they, they, they kind of promise us and fail us and nothing happens, people feel that I can also, politicians in, in, in school feel that I can also promise students and fail them and nothing will happen. And exactly nothing happens. That's why I said accountability should be compulsion. They have to enforce every leader who comes to right. account for what he or she did. All right. The person shouldn't organize a forum to contradict with another meeting. Okay. With that one, it's, it's very, very serious. You, keep, you keep touching this issue. <laughs> After <laughs> the, one question, I wanted to, you. <laughs> one question I wanted to ask the president is that okay. state of SRC forum, okay. we were there. Okay. Only 15 people were there. Only 15 people? Yeah. Really? That, that should tell you students have lost interest in student politics. No, but, but, this but is, when I got home, people okay. were asking me, so what did he say? What did he say? I was like, ah, <laughs> so why didn't you go? I was like, oh, you know he won't say anything. We know he won't say, say anything. So they didn't finish didn't assessing say anything. him. He didn't say anything. Because <laughs> you made uh, 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 arrangement okay. that you'll be coming. Okay. Nook's president will be coming. This okay. person will be coming. Okay. You, the leaders, were in there. The Nook's leaders president wasn't there. there. Wow, I think this is a very critical issue. Yeah. Yes, we will we'll have to get time and actually talk about this into details. Yes, because um, as I always say, this is the scholars forum, and we speak with wisdom and facts and without fear or favor. All right. So um, let me let me move to um, Miss Halima. Yes. Um, what's your assessment of um, UB's campaign or politics? How do you see it? Um, actually, just as um. Mr. President said, okay. students have really lost interest in student politics because he gave us account of what had happened, what had happened before. For me, I was fortunate to be around during um, the 2019 elections that okay. were between um, the two major candidates, okay. Seto and Inyaz Mahama. Okay. The, the election was very hot. I think okay. anybody who was on campus and around Bamao really knew that there was an election going on on campus. Okay. But the election that just happened last trimester, I think out of I think I had the level hundreds are about three thousand plus okay. and the continuous students to about three thousand but we had less than two thousand votes. People coming out to vote, students coming out to vote. And <laughs> if you really ask them I want to go and vote, vote and they will tell you that I should vote and they will just spend the money anyhow. They will tell you that they are all thieves. You just have to choose your best. So there's, but I there's... don't really think that it should be so. Because we all have a voter right. You have to exercise your, you know, you staying at home, you could have, maybe your vote could have brought the right person in power. I think this, this is because um, all the people on the ballot uh, uh, papers, mm, I consider all of them to be thieves. <laughs> so if I come, there's nobody to vote for. So that means that they, they, like, they, they think that all those there are the same. And when they come, they are going to spend the money. I think this is a perception. Or whether it is true or not, I don't know, but I consider it as a perception now because can I don't I, have facts. Can I come in? Okay. If you are talking about those there are thieves, okay. me saying accountability, before okay. you can account them very well, we the students ourselves are part of the problem. Yes. Because if someone is vying for the position of SRC president or any position, okay. during the election day, we tell the person to come and pick us by uh, uh, <laughs> sending a car or a motorbike to come and pick us, and the person will buy food for us and all those stuff. Meanwhile, the person is the same student as we are. So don't you think it is because um, we are aware that that person will come and spend the money? So let me not waste my own time. Let me also chop some more. Let me enjoy. So if I, if I go and vote and he doesn't do the right thing, but I've, I've already chopped when, the food. When, when, when we don't eat their food, okay. we don't take their money, okay. it's difficult for them to come and spend our money. Now, there is something on this um, UBS campus. Okay. Now, I want to ask His Excellency, is there any check on the SRC, how they spend and how they do the activity? Is there any check on it? Yes, there is. Is it effective? Let me let me, let me set the record straight. Okay. SRC does not have separate accounts. Okay. Where your as um dues SRC dues go into that account and then any time they want they just go and pay the money. Okay. It is regulated. It is regulated. It is regulated. Okay. So the perception that they come to spend money and other things they are all lies. Yeah. They are but all lies. Let me tell you this. Okay. Let me tell you this. Now. 
Before SRC takes any project or undertake any project, okay. they have to write their budget, prepare budget, and it, will have, it has to pass through three stages. Three stages. For, uh, for them to scrutinize it before the, uh, they even approve their budgets for them. So based on this? What happens? It comes to GA first. Okay. From GA it goes to the Dean of Students. Okay. From there to the registrar okay. before it goes to the vice chancellor and then the financial director where they will give them the money. So on, on based on what you are saying, does it mean SRC don't spend students' money? The issue is, okay. I wish you, uh, you were part of the GA. Okay. You realize that something that is sold at 10 pesos. Okay. The prepare by that and come and tell you is uh, <laughs> is one thing. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm, it's I'm, through I'm, this inflation I'm, 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 that. <laughs> if my brother here is saying okay. that's as you don't spend students' money. Okay. So you're trying to tell me that their policy. I'm coming. That's based on their policies. Okay. Do they make any budget on the policies they've made? And if they don't spend their money, where are uh, what they said they would do? No, what happens is that he's, he's coming. He's, he's coming to a very okay. critical let point. Let's, let him uh, let, let me answer his question. Okay. The issue is, somebody comes to tell you that when I come, I will extend Wi-Fi even to the student community, Mama. Yes. <laughs> How realistic is this? But that was a policy. How realistic is this? Somebody comes to tell you that I'll move bus terminal from where it is to <laughs> side. Okay. How realistic is this? This is a popular policy now. Now, let me tell you something. Okay. The person kept that policy over there just to win votes. Okay. I'm telling you on that. So the question I'm asking you is that mm -hmm. do they make budget based on their policies? Is it you part of their budget? You cannot make budget based on your policies <laughs> if you've not what, resume office. Because as we speak, even the beginning of last trial, the SRC president and the noobs and their cohorts they didn't know the amount of money that was going to be given to SRC for their uh, administrative activities. Okay. Just because students are not finished paying their fees, and they didn't know the number of students that the school was going to have for the academic year. Okay. Because the number of hundreds were still coming in, and their registration, you know, there were yeah. a whole lot of problems with registration and other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was not a part of the trimester that they even got to know the amount of money in the conference and how much they are supposed to um, use. How, uh, use. Now, you were mentioning something. You talked to me about something will be one CD. Yes. Okay. So imagine somebody comes in, a leader comes in, okay. brings a budget to GE. Okay. Now, um, water, let's say a sachet of water. Okay. It's 20%. <laughs> then the person tells you, oh, uh, I'll be buying water. And once a church calls once a <laughs> <laughs> when you yourself know very well that a set of water is 20 pesos. 20 pesos. I get it. Yeah. So if somebody at the GA level is not smart enough to see it, and then it goes through that place, before you realize the money is given to the person. <laughs> so instead of 20 percent, okay. 20 pesos, the person has what? 80 pesos. 80 pesos as distance. Okay. Uh, uh, as but recently, spend. recently, I think I saw something that has to do with um the SLC accommodation, uh, uh, whatever is it accommodation allowance or something? Rent allowance. Let me the president you. takes two thousand five hundred. The other is it to take two thousand? And if we calculate everything, it's thousand. It's it's hundred. It's it's, it's yes. his money. Yes. Let me explain that. Okay. You know. I always say that Ghana, we are suffering today because of that 1992 constitution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody had to get it. The okay. 1992 constitution we have as a country okay. has to be changed. All right. Until that constitution is changed, Ghana will continue to be like this. Okay. Imagine somebody goes to parliament four years, just as Russia. Constitution says we should give to the person. And then the person goes to the constituency level. It's re elected. The person comes again. Next four years. Ex Gracia again. Goes again, comes again, as Gracia. Ex Gracia. So why don't we simply make it? <laughs> when you go and you don't come again, you lose your elections. Come for your ex Gracia. Fine. And the same thing is happening here. Our constitution <laughs> says we should give them a befitting what? Accommodation. Befitting accommodation. Befitting accommodation. Why? That is what the constitution yes, says. Are there no students? Listen, listen, the yeah. issue is okay. if you go to other universities, okay. the school provides leaders, students' leaders with accommodation. Okay. You go to every university 
and it's there. Okay. I don't know of, but all the universities, campuses that have been, Legon, um, KUSD, UMass. Is, is, that, is, it, is it happening in UBS too? UBS, they were supposed to give them the fitting accommodation, at least at the school halls. But look at the conditions of our schools. <laughs> So because of that, they have to give them accommodation outside the school, and that is in the school uh, students' community. So, so, so couldn't couldn't that money be amassed to maybe do something to the hostels or maybe something that? But if they keep taking it like this, okay, this year alone, this SRC press, uh, executives alone, their money, I don't know the exact number, but I believe it has um, exceeded, um, um, let's say, hundred. Uh, this, the hundred million old distance, it has exceeded it, right? Okay, so now when you take that money, put it down, the next one you put it down. Can't you do something better than just giving it out? Uh, we will reach there. <laughs> we will reach there. Okay, okay. I think um, 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 that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, I think we are going to get time and then um, discuss these issues into details to get you well informed. Yes, um, Miss Halima. Sorry, we have hijacked your time. <laughs> it was necessary, okay? Yeah, so please, let's continue with the discussion. All right, so as I was saying, okay. you see, students have really, have really lost interest in the um, in the whole politics thing. Okay. Because imagine having a more than about 7,000 students and less than 2,000 turns out to vote. That's bad. I don't really know whether the politicians have really not done their homework very well. Okay. Or maybe the students just feel reluctant to okay. maybe exercise their own voting right. Mm. But aside that, though, even those who have really, or maybe who really show up, shows up to vote, okay. they do that based on other factors like religion, ethnicity, and stuff. Okay. But for, you no know, ethnicity is key. Okay. That one, yeah, everybody has seen it. <laughs> People have seen ethnicity as a zero sum. Okay. They, they, how do I even say it? They kind of attach some importance to, or some priority to group power. And when I say group power, I mean, um, Assuming I'm a Dagumba okay. and I'm aspiring for SRC president, okay. the, the, the Dagumbas on campus will tend to support me. Okay. And once I win, the Dagumbas on campus will feel like, yes, they own the school because yes. the SRC president <coughs> yes. comes from their tribe. Yes, 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 yes. or their ethnic. So does that happen in this? Yes, it happens. We've seen it. Okay. You've seen it. You see, um, I don't know the ethnic backgrounds of the, those aspiring currently. Okay. But for the past, or the ones I've witnessed, okay. you see people coming to vote, then you ask them, ah, so why are you supporting this person? Said, ah, Abi, he's my homemate. Like, yeah, he's my homeboy. <laughs> yeah, we are from So whether he can bring development or not, he's your homeboy. He's your homeboy. You support okay. your homeboy. Once your homeboy comes to power, you feel like, oh, the school is for us. When you're going to talk, ah, who do you think you are? The SRC president is from my village. It's from my community. Yes. <laughs> so... And do you think students, as students, we should behave this way? Actually, that's why we are students. At least, I believe we have really learned a lot to just behave like this. Okay. For me, before I vote a particular person in power, I, uh, an individual, okay. what I, I look at the person, I just assess the person, can this person really do the work? Okay. For me, when you come to campaign, that's the things I ask you. Okay. Oh, so what are you bringing on board? So okay. you tell me that maybe when you come, women empowerment, this, okay. this, and that. So okay. I tell you, how are you really going to do that? Because okay. I've seen many politicians promise us so many things, and at the end of the day, nothing happens. So how are you going to do that? Okay. Do you really have the funds? Do you think you can get the funds? Because our current leaders are telling us that it is very difficult to, to get access to funds to just <laughs> bring for so yes. or are you going to bring outside sponsorship? Yes, I ask these questions. Okay. I ask them why why this or like why this policy? You know, actually I actually asked one candidate ah, so why are you aspiring? Okay. And the person told me that because um, in this particular university, so and so become president and <laughs> we can equally have that here. And I told him, no, <laughs> nah, I mean, I can't support you based on that. Okay. Tell me what you are bringing on board. Okay. If this, maybe this, that person has her particular or a unique quality in her okay. or him okay. that he or she can use to change that particular university. So tell me what you are bringing on board. What are you bringing to us? And then I remember one lecturer was standing beside her and the lecturer told me that, but why were you harsh? And I said, oh, I wasn't <laughs> harsh. I was just telling her that yeah, yeah. I don't want to lie to this person and then maybe the person have hope that Halima will support me at the end of the day, I don't support oh, okay. the person who feels disappointed. So and actually, that's okay. the things. So for me to assess the politics here, I think it's really low, very okay. low, as compared to what I've witnessed okay. in 2019. It's okay. very, I don't know how, um, on 28th, how it would be. Okay. But what we saw last time was very disappointing. Very, 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 very disappointing. disappointing. All right. Um, if, no. Let me add, add up. Okay. 
And if, Just make it quick. Uh, okay. If there's student policy, uh, politics is not realistic. Okay. There's no way we develop. Because okay. talking about development, okay. in Maslow's theory of hierarchy, okay. it has five uh, stages. Okay. You can't jump from you can't jump from stage one okay. to stage five. Okay. So we have to start from our <laughs> basics. Okay. And there are a lot of things bothering the students. Most especially when uh, you talk about food. Okay. There's only one food they sell on campus. That's the Kinky and the Bank over there. And that is very worrying because sometimes you go and stand there, you are very hungry. And you we always, and we we always no complain kinky. about... Yeah, dining I'm, <laughs> there's no fish. I'm coming. We always <laughs> complain about insecurity. Okay. We are talking about insecurity. Okay. Why is that it's difficult to find people uh, during the afternoon or morning stealing or robbing people because there's light. Because there's light, yes. Look at the condition of this school. Even on the vetting they I saw you over there. Yes. Looking at the street light, uh, street, was there any light there? <laughs> and we are always talking about insecurity. We bring policemen, we bring policemen. But the policemen are at the junction. If they rob somebody here, they won't see anything. They won't even see. But if there's light, it's difficult for someone to attack someone under a, a, a bright light. They better be thinking maybe someone will see me from afar. Let me find something quickly from His Excellency. His Excellency, does His Excellency have the power, okay, to improve upon the lightning system of this school? Yes, yes, baby. All right, that's okay. So, okay. SRC have power to improve on the lightning <laughs> system of our school. This guy, SRC. <laughs> I'll be very scared. So, so you see, uh, I think it is high time the vetting committee started scrutinizing their policies. Because um, I was shocked to, to okay, let me, let me just use this opportunity to um, say shout outs to the vetting committee. They did well, okay? Their line of questioning was just excellent. But then, one issue I don't understand is that um, you ask somebody about his policy, he's an aspirant, and that person is not able to produce a, even a single policy. Is that person really supposed to qualify for um, um, that particular position or to be qualified See, for that vetting? I, I think we ourselves are not serious. Okay. Because during the uh, vetting, we were there. Okay. People came and they were like, their aspirant, uh, their advice, okay. are sick and all those stuff. Yes. But through investigation, we heard that the advice was at uh, dinner. <laughs> let's let's leave that aside. Oh, no. Listen, it's not a matter of let's leave that aside. <laughs> I know. But then, you know, the topic we are discussing, and then okay. we we'll still let's, bring that as a full let's, topic. Let's okay. go to what you are saying. Yes. We don't have a policy. Yes. What are you looking for in the vetting room? What do you want us to vet? That is now my problem. So I think with the whole politics about... But the person was qualified, right? You saw it. The person was qualified. Um, well, the results are not yet out. We are still... The results are out. The person was qualified. So... Really? I need to see those results. Mm -hmm. You... Uh, uh, because... Um, you thanking the vetting committee. You are not supposed to thank them. We choose your team. Because the person was qualified. No. Someone would have no. I am only thanking them based on the fact that uh -huh. they had excellent line of questioning. You know, they asked relevant questions. But then the aspirants couldn't or were not up to the tax. See, you get what I'm saying? If we don't disqualify some people from that. But they, were, they were supposed to disqualify. So based on when I see the results, I will now come back and say, hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you see that if the during the vetting okay. they don't disqualify some people, okay, like someone who come without a policy, they have to disqualify the person automatically. <laughs> if they don't do that, as time goes on, everyone just what are you coming out. to do? So 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 um, vetting results. That's a vetting results. The person was qualified. <laughs> okay, I think I'll, I'll have to look at this after um um the. But show. if we disqualify people, we get a show a full show for this. Okay, so let's let's let me let me let's get into the last. Um, topic of discussion, okay? Yes. Um, if you have anything, just hold on, okay? Education You'll... on politics. Yes. Let's 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 look at it. Education on politics. Okay. This one, I okay. Let me limit it to UBs. Let's not talk about Ghana. Let's forget about Ghana for now. But let's talk about UBs. Education in politics. Okay. I mean, you know, most of the students are not are not well informed. Most of them don't even know who to vote for. Most of them don't know what to happen. So I believe that is why most people don't even come to their what. The, the voting grounds, okay? Well, if I come, who am I voting for? So is there any form of education that could be given, okay? Or is it important that we give education to the students? We sensitize them. There's, at least there should be things like that. So let's see. Let's, let's, let, let me have your takes on that. Um, okay, let me start with you, back. Okay, yes. education in politics is very, very important. Okay. Because all what you discussed here, okay. if there is public education about uh, politics. Okay. There is no way we go around insulting each other. Okay. Uh, you said we should talk about national, but I'm just citing an example to you. Okay. The Jinapo brothers like this. Okay. Abu Jinapo and John Jinapo. Okay. One is in NDC, one is in MPP. Yes. That should tell you that what they understand what politics is. 
They are they fighting each any other. Instance that they, they, they They've into. never fight each other before. Okay. But when they go, they defend their political party. Okay. Okay. You see their pictures circulating, both of okay. them together. Okay. That's a, 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 a way of promoting peace. Okay. And I think publicly, okay. publicly, okay. there should be... So now come back to you, Ubis. I'm coming. Let me okay. talk about okay. uh, uh, the be nationwide. Quick, be quick about it. Publicly, okay. we should form some uh, uh, public conference okay. to bring all the political parties in Ghana together okay. Okay. so that we can have one or two affairs okay. to show that politics is all about unity and not fight. Okay. And talking about you bills, okay. we really, really have to what, uh, 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 educate some of the students about politics in you bills because some of them are not interested. Okay. Some of them don't even know what it is about. Okay. If not, Mr. President okay. said that SRC is also, can also take the tax of uh, providing okay. street light okay. on campus. Yes, I think um, this matter is a very broad matter. So um, this is going to be the first session of it. We will be bringing you the second session. So um, on that note, we will bring our discussion to a halt. And then we're going to continue next week. Yes, so you're welcome to the Scholars Forum. This is where we speak with wisdom and without fear or favor. You can follow us on all social media platforms and also um, get interactions with us so that we can be able to make reformations. Thank you all for your attention. We meet you next week. So if the students know that.